Hi, welcome to SolidWorks 2020 video tutorial. I want to do that spiral staircase exercise in SolidWorks. It's another remake and I've also added some equations to control that model. So let's have fun with SolidWorks. Let's start with a sketch on the top plane. I need a circle and diameter might be 200. Then I need a line, maybe snap. Like that, okay. Add an angle and this angle might be 20 degrees. Let's trim. And finish that sketch. Let's make an extrude. So go for features, extrudable space with that sketch here. And I want to go for 20 millimeters and confirm. Now I need a helix, so let's go for a helix. So here's the helix and I need to do a sketch, a circle on a plane. So I go for the top plane and I need a circle which starts maybe right here. And of course that Diameter should be again 200. It doesn't need to be 200. You could choose any other radius as well. Okay, I want to go for a constant pitch, yes. Let's go for 200 revolutions, one, yes. And start should be at zero degree and maybe counterclockwise. Let's confirm. And I've got that helix, but I want to change the height. This should be 360, so 18 times 20 millimeter, like that. And the start angle, yes, yeah, zero degrees is obviously not this quadrant. So let's go there, edit it once again. So the start angle, maybe 90 degrees. Let's take a look. This looks better. Yeah, but again, it doesn't really matter. Now let's go for a pattern. And that would be a curve driven pattern. And I need 18 instances equal spacing. Go for tangent to curve, offset curve. And I want the helix is already selected. And I want to. Go for bodies and see if that works because it's a parasolid program. And I could tr try to go for features as well. Let's try bodies and see what happens. Doesn't work. Please select the face on which the curve specified in the first direction lies. Okay, that face would be, of course, this face here. And now it works. Confirm. Looks pretty good. And I've got, of course, 18 bodies. Now I want to do another extrude. Therefore, I need a sketch. So go for another sketch on the top plane. Another circle. 
diameter might be 50. Close that sketch. Make another extrude. And let's go for 360 and see if this works. Looks okay. No, it has to be more. Should be 10 millimeters more. So go for 370. And confirm. And now I want to combine those bodies. So go for a combine. But that's not necessary because or it combined it already. Obviously I didn't check here. This was already checked. So it merged the result. It merged all the steps, all those 18 bodies with the last extrude. And confirm. Now let's add the equations. Maybe hide that helix. And then we go for the equations. Okay, let's go for tools, equations. And I need global variables. So let's go here. One would be the step angle. And this should be 20 degrees. So go for units and go for degrees. Okay. Then I need another one. Let's just confirm this one. Let's go for step height. And that would be right now 20 millimeter and enter and the last one would be the step counter which should be without any units no not here sorry but here step counter that would be 18 at the moment and the units it should be without units so what's without units that's very hard to see is it one of these u n let's take a look no units at all no units if you don't select units you will get no units okay now you could work here or you could work in your model so i've got my equations right here in this folder and first i have to change the sketch here because that angle should be in that sketch so go here go edit sketch go to the 20 degree angle double click it and i want to go for those equations so let's make it equal Go to global variables and select that step angle and confirm and confirm and then this sigma should turn up here and leave that sketch so the next variable would be the height then that would be in the boss extrude so go here go to edit feature Go to that 20 millimeter, put in an equal sign, go for global variables and select that step height. Confirm. 
and confirm. And the last one would be in the pattern and maybe here. So go for that pattern here. Edit that feature and this one should be a global variable. So that would be equal global variables step counter this one. Confirm, confirm. And the model didn't change and that's a good sign because it should not change. I've used all variables with the same values which the model, uh, which the model has right now. So this should be changed as well. And that would be sort of a formula. So that formula would be the step height multiplied open those parentheses go for step counter at 0 0.5 close the parentheses and confirm and confirm so this worked as well and i will need that formula similar here as well so let's check it and copy it go for control c for copy close this one go to that helix and edit that feature but there is no option to go for a formula i could write it here and just insert it and adjust it it should be the step height multiplied with the step counter. Let's see if that works. So it doesn't. It only accepts a value, a number. Therefore, I will go to the equations, tools, equations, and then I could change it here. That's odd, but it works. Okay, go here, control V, adjust it. like this okay now let's copy this formula but there should be an equals as well this equals okay and now copy it control c confirm this one go here and insert that same formula over here and this will work strange but it is like it is so if you change now the value, for example, of the step, let's go to equations, change the step to 10 millimeter, and confirm, and it should adjust. And I'm done. So I hope it was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook app fan page. It would be very nice of you. I want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.